It's Madden NFL 24, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Arizona Cardinals, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Valley of the Sun and State Farm Stadium here in Glendale. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Arizona Cardinals. the kicker Harrison Butker ready to get this one started and this one is underway here on EA Sports now Greg Dorch going to bring it out of the end zone and the decision to bring it out not a good one as he's tackled it to 15 the Cardinals making their way out and it's the number one overall pick in 2019 Kyler Murray at the helm drafted with the idea that he'd be one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL when he put it all together We've been seeing that progress throughout his career. This guy's legs, we knew they were phenomenal. Arm, top notch. But now we're seeing his mind come into the game. Reed's defense is better and better each and every week and is showing patience as a passer as well. Not as eager to exit the pocket, finding guys downfield for bigger plays. First carry for James Conner. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? The same guy carrying the ball in both plays, and what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum, and now you're seeing the field really well. On second down, Connor looking for space. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. They fake the handoff, now Murray. Complete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Blake Gilligan on to punt now on fourth down. Waiting on it will be Richie James. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line. And it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Chiefs offense for their first possession, and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. 
They'll try and start this drive in the air. Well, this one complete. It's Rasheed Rice. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the 29-yard line. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Pacheco once again. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. On play action, it's Mahomes. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. A big play there for KC, and even 50 yards. That is the exact right play call against that defense, so a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match, but give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Mahomes now to throw. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turning into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Greg Dortch returning. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Throwing on first down is Murray. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with it, time has expired on the first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession as they've got it with a second and 10. Murray a give. This is Connor. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And a good stiff arm there before he's brought down on a nice little game. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. 
I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stumping that one short of a first down. Well, we got beef eaters licking their chops and tasty dish in one fell swoop. I did apologize in advance, didn't I? Yeah, you did. That line's not eating tofu, I'll tell you that much for free. Here's James returning. A nice run back there off the good punt. It's a 16-yard return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They have to be thrilled with that first drive that got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Catch is made by Hardman. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Now second and five. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Room to maneuver at the 35. And finally taken down at the 34. Mahomes finding his burner Hardman for the KC first. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game at Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Here's a second and five. To throw, it's Mahomes. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantlick. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. You ready to run? Mahomes now on first down. And yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Second and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. And he's gonna be taken down right at the 10 yard line. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're gonna give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is gonna be in a lot of trouble. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. 
Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Mahomes will try again on second down. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey as the first half is winding down. And the Chiefs would extend their lead here just before halftime. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now 14 to nothing. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he returns this to the 22. And the Cardinals going to get the football one final time here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Final 17 seconds of the half here as they come up to the line, first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. To throw is Murray. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, Murray. Throw right side complete to Carter. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. A final shot before half for Murray. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break. But I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three.
two touchdown game, 14 nothing the score as we get rolling again here in this second half. This fielded right at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And the Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And this offense set to begin the third quarter. And Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead. And they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game. So probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one. So now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it and try and win this ball game. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive first down. And that's not a play that you see all that often at the start of a drive, but some teams, they don't mind doing it. And that one, well sold by the offensive linemen. They showed the pass, and then they got out into space, able to get some good blocks downfield and allow the play to be successful. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still wanting to move at a nice pace. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 23. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Zayvon Collins coming in from that outside linebacker spot. He gets him down. It's a loss of five. But found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. Well, they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Rasheed Rice, 28 yards. And the Chiefs have moved out in front by three touchdowns. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes the score 21 to zip. A drive that time of six plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half.
Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. A short one there caught by Swain, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Play fake. Murray. Pass to Brown. He's got it on the crossing route. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And this will be swung out here for counter. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good try. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray targeting more, and he's got him on the crossing pattern. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. First and goal at the 7 yard line. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Off the option, here's Murray running left. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. What a game this defense continues to play, huh? Yeah, they've been aggressive from the first snap, and they've controlled this ball game. But right now, if you're on the other side of the ball, you've got to match that aggressiveness. No points so far in this game. Moving the football, got to be that way to go against them and try and get some points on the board. And I'm curious, on the defensive side, if they stay aggressive... And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Well, they needed three scores to have any chance. There's the first of the three as they get into the end zone. Yeah, Brandon, I think that our guys at Next Gen Stats in charge of the win probability are probably saying your chances still aren't great. But now, you still got more than three minutes to go. You got to focus on the task at hand, which is going to be getting the football back as quickly as possible. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. Illegal touching. Offense. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? 
Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. Pacheco gets it up the gun. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And he struggles to get a yard here maybe a yard down to the 31 this defense starting to buckle down when they need to and right now they're winning this fourth quarter losing the game but they're winning in the fourth quarter and what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down so they obviously need the football need a score but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge their gaps and have the offense hit them with a big play and it is caught, and he will pick up the first down as he is out of bounds. And on that, we will reach the two-minute warning. Throw left side, completion to Rice. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Try to take this home, they'll run. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They'll run for it with Pacheco. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. Victory in the cards now for the Chiefs as they take a knee here. Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about write a finish to this one. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. 
Well, what we saw here was offense is spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert.